Former Republican Congressman Ron Paul and the Chief Ambassador Gold Co. took to Twitter this week to see where his followers would invest a $10,000 gift, but with a catch. He joins us on the line now. Uh, Dr. Paul, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Danielle. Ali. Good to be with you. So this week, Dr. Paul, you asked your followers how they would invest $10,000, but with a catch. You must keep the gift in the form that you choose, and you can't touch it for 10 years. Now, you provided four options, U.S. dollars, gold, U.S. 10-year treasury bonds, and Bitcoin. Bitcoin won by over 50%. Dr. Paul, were you surprised by the results? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I was a little bit. Uh, but, of course, I wasn't surprised that only 2% would uh, store away Federal Reserve notes. That was good. <laughs> that they don't have much confidence in Federal Reserve notes, nor do they think they should buy Treasury bills. But there was a contest, a little contest between gold versus Bitcoin. Gold had 36%, but Bitcoin had 54%. So uh, it sort of was information for me to tell, uh, tell me where, where my viewers are and what they're thinking. And uh, most people know how strong I am with, uh, with gold, uh, and I'm tolerant of, uh, of alternative currencies, you know, uh, competition in currencies. But I was a little bit surprised that that many people would uh, stash it away. I mean, it would have been a, it was a reflection of what happened today. Of course, Bitcoin is very exciting, and people are, it's booming, but if they, uh, they don't have a long-term perspective. What's it going to be like in 10 years? Nobody, nobody knows. But we have a pretty good idea where gold will be uh, in a general sense. It's been around a long time, and it's not going away. So, you know, as you, as you pointed out, most of your followers are known as, you know, devout gold aficionados. So, so those numbers are, are a bit surprising. Do you think that's part of the reason that gold has been hurting? You know, are we seeing um, investors flocking to Bitcoin, choosing Bitcoin over gold here? I don't know whether it's exactly that, but I guess the mood isn't such. But I've, uh, you know, not thought it was totally uh, gold being in a totally bad shape because uh, I, I keep thinking that uh, last January when gold was 1,050, uh, that it was a pretty good start for the next cycle. And I claim I've seen two previous cycles, one in 71 going from 35 up to 800. Then I also saw one at 270 going up to 1,800. And then there was this correction. So I think that we still could be in a phase where gold will and will take off. It's just a matter of figuring out when. But I don't think they directly say, well, I'm not buying gold today. I'm going to buy a Bitcoin. I think it's a reflection, really, of inflation. The Fed has created so much money, and it's floating out there, and there's a lot of speculation going on. And this just looked like an option, and people caught on to it in sort of like a fever. But you're not going to jump on that Bitcoin bandwagon just no, yet. No, I haven't been tempted at all. But oh. I, I find it fascinating, and uh, I, you know, because my position is both uh, what I would do as a personal investor. Uh, and, and what I do in politics as far as uh, legalizing competition, I, I think that uh, real money started in the marketplace without governments, and they always pick gold and silver and something of, of uh, you know, real value. And I right. think they would again. But, you know, to change sentiments quickly after living with central banks for so long and the world engulfed with central banking, it's, uh, it's, a, it's wild to change attitudes. But you take a country like Zimbabwe and Venezuela, uh, they change their attitudes rather quickly when they get into big trouble. So switching gears here, Dr. Paul, the market's continuing to make new highs today, but you have doubled down from your previous 25% correction call to now saying we could see a 50% retracement. Why the conviction and when? Well, it just looks like it's it's so artificial, and the uh, PE ratios look like they're getting out of hand. I think our debt is uh, in a uh, you know in, in a bad situation. I don't have any trust in the government. I think this talk of uh, saving the economy uh, and preserving you know prosperity with a tax bill, which I don't uh, think they even know yet what's going to happen. They don't even know if the government's going to close down this week. I have so little confidence in, in Washington. The spending is going to continue. The deficits are going to go up. We have the Federal Reserve, and they're going to keep printing money. And uh, so I, I just think that this market is overpriced. But I'm not a, I don't trade the stock market, and uh, I don't try to tell people exactly what to do with their money. Dr. Paul, thank you so much for your thoughts today. Thank you. Nice to be with you. And thank you for watching.